Hey guys, welcome back to another TechCore Duo video. And for today, I've got a quick tutorial on how to access another user's files on a Mac. So the reason that you want to do this is, for instance, let's say you had a, a person working for your company and they left the company and they're no longer able to, uh, you know, log into the computer and, you know, you need to access client files or you know some sort of company sensitive information that you need to retrieve uh, another uh, extreme kind of scenario is you know if someone passes away in the family or you know someone goes away somewhere where they're not accessible and you know it's kind of emergency an emergency situation where you need to be able to get the files from that user account uh, so i'm just going to uh, navigate to uh, user account on macintosh hd just to give you guys an example of what happens when you try to access another user's files, even if you're an administrator. Um, so if you go into uh, Macintosh HD and then into users, and then from users, I have all these uh, accounts here. So for instance, I want to go into this TCD1 account. As you can see, immediately all the folders have uh, prohibitory signs. See if I can make that a little, a little larger. So you can't access these files because you don't have permission to see them. So what we would do in a scenario like this is uh, use the power of the root user. Okay, so let's just keep that in mind. TCD1 is the user account that we want to access. So the first thing you do is open up system preferences. Okay, from system preferences, we're going to go into users and groups. All right, we're going to click the little lock. We're going to type our password. All right, and then from there, we're going to go into login options. All right, and then network account server or a local directory is the option that you might, might have down there. In any case, you'd hit edit. Okay, and then you'd hit open directory utility. Okay, click on the little lock there. Type your password again. All right, and then from the top menu here where it says edit, you're going to do enable root user. Okay, once you enable the root user, you can be prompted to type in a password. If for whatever reason you're not prompted to type in a password, you can always say change your root password. Okay, then once that's done, you can go ahead and close out of this. You won't need that anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change my password just so that it's a little bit easier to type for the purposes of this demo. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to close this out. All right. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is close this. Okay, and since I'm going to be logging out, uh, you will not be able to see this. So what I'll have to do is just kind of record this with my phone and then I'll post it so you can see what's happening. And then once I'm in the account already, I'll go back to recording like a screen capture. Okay. Okay. So from here, uh, so once we've done all that um, stuff from the root uh, from that uh, i'm sorry from the once we've enabled the root user account we're going to log out of our account out of the current account that we're in okay it's going to say are you sure we're going to say yes i'm sure sorry about the poor quality here but that's just because i'm recording with the phone i'm going to say yes say no here but no too late now anyway now we're gonna go into uh, the login window uh, you might have a list of users or you might have this where you can actually put in a username and password uh, if you don't have uh, an option to put in a name and a password what you would do is scroll over on the list of names that you have with the icons and then hit other okay and then from that other, you're going to have this where you can put in the username and password. For the user, okay, what you want to do is type root. Okay, 
and then the password that you created. All right, finally. Log in. Uh, don't worry about this update keychain thing. I'm just getting this because I changed my password. Okay, uh, you're not gonna have any of this popping up. I, I have this stuff popping up because I have this stuff popping up because I changed my password from what it was to something new. But in any case, I'm gonna stop this recording here and go back to the desktop recording. And from here, let's do the same thing that we did by going into the user accounts and we'll see a small difference. Small difference, but an important one. So once you click on Macintosh HD, okay, you go to users and check it out. TCD1 no longer has those prohibitory signs there, okay? So what you can do now is right click, copy, and then you can paste that into a shared account. Okay, into the shared folder, or you can paste it into your regular um, account folder, whichever you prefer. But essentially, you can access any user account's information and data from here and correct permissions on it. So not only do you have access to the files, you have read and write permissions on all of the data in all of your accounts. And once you copy a file using a root account into another person's account, you automatically grant them permission as well. All right, so that sums it up. Um, hope you guys found that useful. Thank you for watching.